Yes, I'm a banana. Look, I know Halloween's over and everything, but I thought you guys might like to see me dressed up, so deal with it. If you're wondering what the noise is, it's because it's inflating. It's got like a fan on the side, but anyway. But yeah, everybody comment below and let me know what you guys were for Halloween this year. And don't you dare say a disappointment, okay? I've heard that joke before. Oh man, my banana's deflating. And so is my costume. Hey, can I get a witness? I'm just kidding, family friendly. Man, I wish it was Friday the 13th because today we're doing Doing funniest kid test answers part 13. 13 already? That's what he said. Ah, family friendly again. But before we check these out, everybody, please check out my Instagram. I'm posting funny original skits on there. So add me at Dangmat Smith. Comment on my most recent post, and I'm gonna follow you guys back. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the cool kids are doing it. Join the notification squad. Turn the notifications on. That way you know the second I post a new video. Woo! Oh, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these funniest kid test answers part 13 here we go Okay, number one it says what word would you use to describe your mother's sister? All right, let's see what they put they put fat dang Gee, why are kids so brutally honest? Okay, even if this kid's mother's sister is on the heavier side You could use nicer words right like large and in charge heavy duty or it takes up two seats on the airplane So something like that. Okay, seriously don't ask this kid what words he would use to describe me. Black Democrat. You know what, man? Forget you. Next one. It says, who was America's first president? Everybody and their mom better know this, okay? They got a picture of the first president at the top and then under it as like Getty images. I guess that's where they got the photo from. And they put America's first president was Getty images. You little stupid and wow. Really? Man, are you serious? You look stupid. Okay, I look stupid right now. But anyway, just because because at the bottom of the photo where it says Giddy Images, it made this kid think that the first president of the United States was Giddy Images. Man, you better get that out of here. And they didn't even spell images right. You spelled it with two E's instead of an A. Man, you're such an A. Dang, I'm surprised they didn't think that the first president of the United States was Fat G. My name is President Fat, and I want to represent you. Another one. Another one. It says, write a balanced half equation for the reaction at the positive electrode. Okay, everybody knows this. I mean, come on now. Two plus two equals seven. Boy, if you don't- Dang, I'm glad I didn't cheat off this kid in my math class. I would have failed. Well, I still failed anyway. But that's besides the point. But come on, a round of applause for this kid because at least they didn't put 2 plus 3 equals Getty Images. That would have- mm -mm. Not today. Two plus three equals seven. Boy, get that out of here. Come on now. Moving on. All right, this text is kind of small. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need my, I'm gonna need my banana glasses. All right, here we go. We got explain why the concentration of sulfate ions increases in the electrolyte. God dang, I thought this was funniest kid test answers, not funniest high school kid test answers. Anyway, they wrote aliens. Dang, aliens are responsible for everything weird that's going on around here. Great, we got an alien conspiracy theorist. This kid probably blames everything on aliens. <laughs> Ew, did you just fart? No, it was the aliens. Um, was that the aliens too? Uh, yeah. Let's keep it going. Give the names of two gases that might contribute to global warming. All right, and then they put bottom gas and cow burps. I, I really don't, like, why? Just, just why? Why so random? I mean, cow burps, that is disturbingly specific. And bottom gas? I get the feeling there's gonna be a gassy theme today. But hey, let's count our blessings. At least this kid didn't blame global warming on aliens. Am I right or am I black? Or am I white? Right? Man, anyway, more funny kid test answers. We got, oh, dang, that's some small print. All right, it says, explain what is happening in the diagram below. Include the following words in your explanation. Decomposer, atmosphere, photosynthesis, carbon dioxide, and energy. All right, come on now, this is kindergarten stuff. We got this. They put plants make elephants, and elephants then poop out skeletons, and then skeleton decompose and turn into a plant or a tree. You see this right here? This is my you stupid face. <laughs> Poop out a skeleton, man. I told you guys this was gonna be a gassy theme today. Hey, you crazy kids, get a better education. Sit down, be humble, more like sit down and read a book. Jeez. Hey, can you explain the circle of life? Well, plants make elephants, and then the elephants get bottom gas, and then they poop out skeletons, and then the elephants burp to cause global warming. 
Um, okay. I mean, what should we do about this? I think we should get that out of here. Moving on. Feelings I get. There's a lot of feelings that I get. I get, like, you know, some happy feelings, some sad feelings, you know, good feelings, bad feelings. I sound like a Dr. Seuss book. I'll get you, and I'll look like a bloody accident. Feelings I get. I feel happy when I get hot ca Okay, look, they meant chocolate, but they forgot the H and they spelled cock a doodle doodle which, um, yeah, hot ca chocolate, man, that's a whole different type of brown sugar. If you know what I'm talking about. Can I get a witness? No, just me? Okay. Look, if they just spelled chocolate wrong, that'd be fine, but it makes it worse when they put, I feel happy when I get hot ca chocolate, cocker spaniel, cock a doodle doos, and cockney chocolate. Are you pulling my piss at you, plum? I'm trying to keep it rated G, okay? But right now, it's looking like it's rated G for gross. I mean, come on! <laughs> Next one. Write 53,000 in figures. Okay, so you're supposed to write 53,000, you know, in the number form, right? And then they put 53,000 in figures. Nothing funny about that. I mean, that's just savage. 21 savage? Oh, these kids are stupid. Explain the word migration. All right, so we we all know what migration is, right? And they put a migration is a bad headache. God dang it, you stupid kids. Woo, God dang it, you kids are about to give me a migration. A migraine is a bad headache. A migration is a movement from like one region to another, all right? Man, I swear if these stupid kids don't shut up and stop drinking hot <laughs> But hey, two plus three equals seven, right? No. God dang it. All right, last one. It says, impress me. What kind of teacher asks the students on homework or on a test to just impress me? Like what kind of, what? And they put, why? <laughs> and they got plus four for that answer. Okay, okay, okay. And the teacher wrote, good. Always question the man. The white man? Or the hot chocolate man. I don't know. Look, I'm sorry. I'm too busy pooping out skeletons to question the man. You crazy? Man, that's it. Thank you guys for watching the video. And be sure to add me on Instagram at DangMattSmith. I got the funny skits up on there. Check them out. And comment below what you were for Halloween. I want to know. Like, were you a banana like me? Or were you something, you know, actually good for Halloween? All right, let's try to reinflate this thing. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, oh, there it go. Oh, oh, no. There it go. Wait, wait, wait. It's inflate. Oh! Current mood right now. Everybody screenshot and caption this right here. But yeah, click on the screen right here or right here. Check out another video and click the circle in the middle to subscribe. And please click the bell to get notified. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one on Saturday. And until then, peace.